Hey beauty babes, it's Kaylin. I'm back with another video and this is going to be a natural wispy set today. We're doing a very short set. First things first, we're going to start with the lash bath as always and if you're wanting more detailed steps on prep, then you can go to my other videos that I have on my channel where it's a step-by-step -step tutorial. So we're just going to answer a few questions today as well that I've seen in the comments of a few of the other videos I posted. A frequently asked question I see in my comments is how long have I been lashing and this year will actually mark four years of my lash journey and that'll be in August of this year which is crazy because it feels like it really hasn't been that long but I have not actually been consistent throughout the entire four years I've had to take a few breaks here and there and I've moved from different city to city and from different state to state so I've had quite the journey in my lash career, but it has been about a year and a few months that I've been consistently lashing, and I would say it definitely takes consistent practice, consistent effort to improve your skills, and of course you have to constantly be learning and educating yourself. And here we're just mapping out our kit and I, you can see the base layer and the top layer length. Another question I see a lot is how long it takes for me to actually complete a full lash set and that's a really hard question to answer since it really just depends on the client I'm working with, what their natural lash line looks like, and the set that they actually want. This natural wispy set took me three hours to complete from start to finish and that's on an even healthy lash line. And it's actually not a very full lash line as you can see, you can see in between the lashes. I do have clients where I can't even see in between the eyelashes, that's how full they are. And those clients can take me up to four hours to complete. Even sometimes for fills, it can take me up to two and a half to three hours on a fill for a really full lash line. So I recommend definitely not focusing on time and being concerned about the time. If your clients are concerned about time or whoever you're practicing on, then they should probably find someone else because here we care about the quality of our work. And at the end of the day, they're going to be walking around representing you and your brand. So I highly recommend that you don't let them get up until you're satisfied. <laughs> My clients already know this about me and none of them complain about how long it takes. They actually really do appreciate the time and effort that it takes to actually give them perfect, amazing eyelashes. And as you can see, it takes a long time. This is obviously sped up in this video, but this is tedious work that we're doing here. This is about 200 lashes per eye that you have to not only apply an eyelash to, but create a fan for. So. Explain the process to your clients, help them understand just how tedious your work is and how demanding of your time and focus that it requires. I just recommend educating your clients on the whole process so they really understand what it is that you're doing for them, the service that you're providing. And as long as you are providing quality work that you're proud of, that's all that matters. Another question I get asked a lot is what supplies I'm using and I would love to give you guys one specific brand to buy all these products from, but honestly, they're from everywhere. I purchase products from multiple different brands just because I like to try different things. So the one piece of advice I can give for this question is to just learn your products. Really understand your glue, the humidity, and the temperature that it requires to work properly. Understand different kinds of tweezers and different kinds of iPads and different kinds of tapes. There are so many different supplies that we use as Flash Tech, and there's so many different varieties of each specific product that is available in the market to us these days. So I know it's a little overwhelming with how many brands and different products there are, but at the end of the day, there's a few basic products that you need for eyelash extensions. So just finding which specific one works best for you is going to be the only way to achieve the easiest service and the best eyelash extensions. So just keep practicing, keep finding your groove, and you will find it eventually.
just keep being patient and consistent. And since this whole video has basically been just advice, I would like to continue giving some <laughs> unwarranted advice and let all of my new lash techs and my baby lash techs know that it's okay whatever point of your journey that you're at right now accept it embrace it enjoy it because you'll never be this good or this bad ever again so i definitely recommend just enjoying the time as it goes and learning everything you possibly can you're already here learning from me so you're already taking a step in the right direction and i appreciate you for taking your time to listen and take my advice i definitely recommend that you continue to invest in yourself and your education invest your time into your skills and daily practice as annoying as it may sound is key <laughs> it's the only way to improve so I definitely recommend just not getting discouraged, no matter how easy I may make it look in these videos, because I promise you it is not this easy. <laughs> there was a lot of editing and cutting things out where there was poor isolation, poor placement, the glue dried too fast, or I put too much, or I still struggle with a lot of the same things that maybe beginners struggle with, because I'm not perfect, and not every lash set will be perfect, unfortunately. <laughs> It's just about being patient and working with it and how you get through those struggles. So just continue to be patient with yourself, continue to learn, continue to grow. That's all we can do in this industry and in life. So just keep pushing forward and you got this. You can create amazing lash sets just like this. I know I didn't really give too much instruction throughout this video, so I apologize for that. But if you're looking for more specific, detailed instruction on how to lash, then you can check out my other videos on my channel because I definitely have plenty of those and there is more to come. Thank you so much for watching this video and being so patient with me in these videos. I definitely appreciate it. Please subscribe and leave some comments and questions down below. Love y'all!